Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today I wanted to talk about our fourth grade curriculum picks for homeschool. So this past year, we did third grade curriculum. It was our first year homeschooling, and we enjoyed it so much that we are going to continue to homeschool. So as we have started planning for the fourth grade year, I wanted to go over what we are choosing to use for fourth grade. So this year we used a combination of Moving Beyond the Page and Blossom and Root for the bulk of our curriculum. I couldn't decide between the two when I was initially looking, having not had experience with either one before, and they both sounded great. So we went ahead and got both curriculum. Um, when we ordered the Moving Beyond the Page, we went with the ages 7 to 9, and we weren't able to actually get all of those materials in until about halfway through our school year. So prior to getting Moving Beyond the Page, we went ahead and did the digital download with Blossom and Root and started with Blossom and Root. So we had been using both Blossom and Root and Moving Beyond the Page, and I still like both of them, but for different aspects. So when we are looking at next year, we are going to use both of those curriculum, but we're going to use them in slightly different ways. So Blossom and Root did a really good job with science, and so we'd like to continue to use the science from Blossom and Root, and they also now have a U.S. history um, uh, package and we're going to get that as well because we want to introduce history so wanted to get both of those um, moving beyond the page we didn't actually finish all of the curriculum um, like I said we got it halfway through the year so there's still lots to choose from and lots that we can use and the age range and skill level still suits my learner so we're going to use um, parts of it that we did not finish for the language arts component and then they generally have like a science or social studies that goes along with it. That being said, we are also going to incorporate um, some more language arts, uh, possibly from Blossom and Root. Um, I know there were a couple this year that we didn't use from Blossom and Root that I would like to use, particular books um, that I think would be great to read and to cover. And also, I am going to purchase some of the um, units from Brave Writer for language arts as well. Again, there were some that cover specific uh, books that I think would be great books. I think my learner would enjoy reading those books, or I think that they're classic books that my learner should be exposed to. Um, so we're really gonna piece together language arts across three curriculum, um, maybe jumping around, um, maybe uh, doing certain topics or certain books at certain times of the year. I don't have that schedule part planned out, but we are gonna be using Moving Beyond the Page, Blossom and Root, and Brave Writer. We're also going to be using Night Zookeeper to practice writing. Writing is an area that my learner finds challenging, uh, not because they have trouble coming up with the concepts, but because they just don't like to write things down and to um, have to sit there and think about how the words all fit together. Um, so I thought this might be a fun way to put in a little extra practice for writing. So that is something that we are looking to get this next year. Um, for math, we used teaching textbooks and that worked really well for my learner. They were independent with that and we were able to finish the curriculum um, in the time frame by doing one lesson a school day. And so we are gonna continue with teaching textbooks for math because that works for my learner. My learner is completely independent with that, so that's something that they can do when I am otherwise occupied and I don't have to sit there with them for that part. Um, this year we are looking to teach U.S. history, and like I said, uh, Blossom and Root has a U.S. history curriculum, so we're going to get that, but I also found a, a U.S. history curriculum called Oh Freedom by Woke Homeschool.
and we're going to order that one as well and i'm hoping that through a combination of these two we will be able to present a very truthful and culturally uh sensitive um or culturally accepting way of looking at u.s history as opposed to the very um european descendant heavy side of u.s history that i was taught so we're looking for that additional perspective we're looking for presenting all sides of um how history uh affected all the different populations and so we're going with woke homeschool o freedom curriculum and um, the blossom and root u.s history curriculum also looks like it has that perspective and i um and i'm familiar with the way that blossom and root lines things and does things so i like the way that that's presented so we're going to go with a combination of those to do our uh, U.S. history this year. The other thing that we're adding this past year, we did music. This year, we specifically want to make sure that we get a group class or group sport for PE because we miss, my child misses being able to hang around and play with other kids. And so we are specifically looking for more group opportunities maybe outside of our specific learning curriculum, but we do want to make sure that we get into some sports or some physical activity opportunities, and those will be great with other kids. So um, our local community center often hosts homeschool classes during the school year. So we are waiting to see what they'll be offering, and that is something that we will be doing. The other pieces that we are going to add in to our fourth grade year is um, some sort of a lesson on philosophy um, and logic. I don't have a curriculum for that yet. That is something that I'm still looking into, and it might be something that we sort of piece together with books and activities, but I will be happy to share that with you when we figure it out. So let me know what you are thinking for fourth grade curriculum or um, what you are thinking for your learner's curriculum or if you've had any experience with some of the ones that are new to us, such as Brave Rider, Night Zookeeper, or Woke Homeschool. 